This is question number 18 on the November 2014 calculator paper. Okay, so let's read through the question. The question says, the table gives some information about the length of time in hours that some adults watch TV. So length of time in hours, the frequency, and we have groups here. And one of the things I noticed is that the groups are of different sizes. Okay, so 0 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 50, and we've got the frequencies over here. The question says, work out an estimate of the mean time. So it's an estimated mean question, and this should be one that you're pr pretty familiar with. First thing we're going to do is extend the table, and we're going to identify the midpoints of the group, and then multiply the midpoints by the frequencies. Okay, so extending that there, I'm going to identify the midpoints of each of these groups and then do the midpoints times the frequencies. Okay, so finding the midpoints of each of the, the groups, the first midpoint is going to be between 0 and 10, which is 5. The second midpoint is between 10 and 15. Now, if you do find that difficult, right, one way of working out the midpoints is to add the two values, 10 and 15, that gives you 25, and then divide it by 2. That gives me 12.5. So the midpoint of this group is 12.5. 15 to 20, those two add together to give me 35. Divided by 2, the midpoint is going to be 17.5. From 20 to 30, add them together. That's going to be 50. Half of that is 25. And you could see that by looking at the groups as well. 30 to 40, they add up to 30 to 50, they add up to 80, half of 80 is 40. Okay, so now we're gonna do the midpoint times the frequency, eight times five, I could do that, 40. But the rest, I'm gonna use my calculator to make sure that I do it and get it correct. 15 times 12.5, 187.5, Eleven times seventeen point five, one hundred ninety two point five, ten times twenty five, that's going to be two hundred and fifty, and six times forty, that's going to be two hundred and forty. I need to add these values. 40 plus 187.5 plus 192.5 plus 250 plus 240 equals 910. Now that adding up is something that I would be inclined to do twice just to make sure I haven't made a mistake and it's accurate. The other value that I need to work out is the total frequency. How many adults did they survey all together, did they look at all together. They haven't said anything in the question to give us an idea, so I need to add up these values. So again, my calculator again, I'm gonna do eight plus 15 plus 11 plus 10 plus six, and that gives me exactly 50. Again, I'd be inclined to do that twice to make sure that I didn't make any errors whatsoever. So to work out the estimated mean, I'm going to do the total of the midpoint times the frequency, divide that by the total frequency, there are 50 people all together, and that's going to be an estimate of the mean time. So that's 9910 divided by 50, 18.2. That's what I shall put in my answer space. And that's the answer to part A. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward question. It's one which you should be able to do and not have too much difficulty in. Let's look at part B. Part B wants us to draw a histogram of the information in the table. So they want us to draw a histogram of the information in, a t in the table. So we've got a grid here. And a couple of things you should know. Okay, they've labeled this length of time. 
and the vertical axis is not labeled at all. In a histogram, the vertical axis is frequency density. And we need to work out the frequency density from our table above. So I'm going to go back to the table above. I'm going to identify or work out the frequency density. Now one of the things that you should know about frequency density is frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Frequency divided by class width. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is find the class width of each of these groups. The class width is how big the groups are. So it's effectively the difference between these numbers. First group is 10. 15 take away 10, that's 5. 20 take away 15, that's 5. 30 take away 20, that's 10. And 50 take away 30, that's 20. So those are the class widths of the different groups. I'm going to now find the frequency density. And I'll just put it into the table there. And I'll, I'll write them in. I'll just put in an extra column. So the examiner will be able to see this, and you will get credit for this. Okay, so I'm going to do frequency divided by class width. So remember, I'm going to do 8 divided by the class width is 10. I'm going to do 15 divided by 5. 11 divided by 5. 10 divided by 10. And 6 divided by 20. Okay, some of these are straightforward. 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.8. 15 divided by 5 is 3. I'll come back to 11 divided by 5. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And 6 divided by 20, again, I'll come back to that and use my calculator for that one. So let's do 11 divided by 5. That's 2.2. .2. 6 divided by 20, zero point three. Okay, so those are my frequency densities. I'm going to now go back to the graph and plot those. Now, I'm going to try to zoom out so that you could see as much of this information as possible. You're not going to be able to because it's, it's very much at the top. So if we actually move between both of them, so we could actually see what we're doing. Okay, so the first group goes from 0 to 10, and the frequency density is 0 0.8. The frequency densities, if you look at them, the largest frequency density is 3. So going back to my graph, before I start drawing the histogram, let's look at the frequency density axis. If the largest value is 3, I need to put my scale on this. Now this is a popular task within these exam questions. And if you look there, I've put in three markers. I've got 1, 2, 3. There are 10 tiny squares between 0 and 1, and 1 and 2, and 2 and 3. So each tiny one st stands for point 0.1. So let's go to our first bar. Our first bar goes from 0 to 10, and the frequency density is 0 0.8. So going back to my graph, it goes from 0 to 10, and the frequency density is 0 0.8. So make sure you use a ruler for this, and you take your time doing it. I'm going to draw a block here. And so that's my first bar on the histogram. The second bar is going to go from 10 to 15, and its frequency density is 3. So back up, 10 to 15, and its frequency density is 3. So I'm just going to put in some dots to mark that, like that.
the next bar is going from 15 to 20. Let's just have a quick look at that. 15 to 20, and its frequency density is 2.2. So 15 to 20, and it goes up to 2.2, .2, which is going to be two tiny squares above there. I'm going to line this up with my ruler and draw in the top of that bar. And then down to complete the bar. Okay, the next group goes from 20 to 30, and its frequency density is 1. So 20 to 30, its frequency density is 1. And so I'm going to draw that bar all the way across and then down okay and finally the last one goes from 30 to 50 and it has a frequency density of 0.3 so 30 to 50 and its frequency density is 0.3 so using my ruler and one two three squares above And this completes my histogram. Now this is a pretty standard question. You should be able to do this. What you need to make sure you, you do is work out the frequency densities from the table you, you're given, that which we did above. Remember that frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Label the frequency density axis. Look for your largest value, ours was three. And so I labeled up the scale to make sure I can cater for all the values and then draw your histogram with great care. Okay, take your time as you're doing this. Make sure you are able to do it and get full marks in it.